Have you ever wanted to become immortal? But you, you have this pain in your heel that you just can't get rid of. And you like Dark Souls? Then this might be the game for you. Achilles Legends, Legends Untold. Untold. From Dark Point Games, they were kind enough to send us a review copy for this game that is in beta right now. Yes. So we appreciate that. And we're going to give you our first impressions. This is mm -hmm. not a full review because there was only what, about two hours of gameplay. Yeah, that we... it took me about one hour and 20 minutes. And we're not sure that this is actually the part as it is will be in the full game. But we got enough to give you uh, ideas what you can expect from this game. So maybe you've seen some trailers or things uh, about this game already. Um, it's not clear what the genre is right from the beginning. It's a bit experimental. Well, so it is I could explain it uh, if you know Dark Souls and if you know Titan Quest, Diablo like if you mix it together, that's it. It's a game that is really hard. Uh, it's an action game. It's top-down usually and uh, It's an RPG mm -hmm. The story follows You'll never guess <laughs> Achilles <laughs> <laughs> In the battle for Troy now I, It's hard to say what section we got if we got you know the first two hours of the game or if this is something in the middle um, because if this is how the game starts, it definitely doesn't follow the story of mm -hmm. the book or the traditional telling of the Iliad or the, the war on Troy. Um, but you play Achilles. I know at least you meet Hector. I think a lot of the other main characters of the story are there. But it seems there are hints that it's a bit more fantasized yeah. than the book because you will also meet some big mythical scary yeah. monsters that you have to fight as and well. And you got your like special <laughs> skills like shield you can throw and summon back. Mm -hmm. The the graphics are pretty nice. There's a lot of detail. Maybe too much detail, but we'll come to that. <laughs> uh, um, but it's very linear. Like you are mm -hmm. basic you, you you can go there are multiple paths that you can choose. I would say it's hardcore. It doesn't mean that the it would be as hard as beta, but beta was pretty hard, and these Dark Souls-like games are always hard. Yeah. So it does have a, a high le learning uh, curve curve mm. that at the very beginning uh, you will be repeating the same killing same enemies all over again. Or to, well, getting killed by the same yeah, enemies over and over. Grind, grind some uh, health points and. Or some grenades, or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some grenades, yeah. explosives. Well. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like grenades. It's yeah, called explosives. Greek. Yeah. It's Greek fire or something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but the, it's grenades to me. They, it's yeah. it's a it's basically. But this a is really on melee, mm -hmm. melee fighting. You got your sword, and you can use your your shield. And the shield is very important here because not like in other games where you just go run to person and slash him. Yeah. You really need to be careful. This is more of a strategized action. This is something that I think surprised yeah. me. Is going into it, I didn't know how difficult it would be. It mm -hmm. looked like kind of a more adventure RPG game, and mm -hmm. it's not that. Button yeah. smashing yeah. or trying to overpower enemies mm -hmm. is not going to work. Any enemy can take you down. Yeah. Um, which is also very different than I expected. Playing Achilles, this almost immortal half god. But because he is immortal, he can resurrect uh, any time. That's true. That's and true. you've got these points, these checkpoints, that if you get enough points, you can uh, use these points to get uh, more health or learn more skills. Mm -hmm. The skill tree is quite. I wouldn't say it's massive, but it's diverse. Yeah. It's got a lot of different options, and it it allows you to uh, uh, upgrade the things that makes mm -hmm. your play style easier. Yeah. You can also get other weapons. Like at one point, I was really focusing yeah. on using the spear because I like to keep I didn't get distance. The spear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was using was using a spear for a while. Swords, and uh, there's not many loots. Not so much. But uh, it might. Uh, it, it might be in later because not like all the um, enemies drop 
mm-hmm. a lot of flute. It's not like a diablo. Mm-hmm. What's interesting is that it is pretty linear. Most mm-hmm. of the time you have one path to follow, but there are side quests that yeah, you can go on. Some, Even yeah. in the short section that we saw, yeah. there's at least two or yeah. three yeah long side quest yeah. that you can go on yeah. to try to to grind your like uh, extra yeah. points for upgrades or loot or things like that so it's nice to be able to explore and to have and other options and there's something interesting that I haven't seen in other games much or ever because uh, the characters that you're fighting with if there's two of them or more they have special attacks that they can combine only together like one swing the other one and they make a powerful attack Mm -hmm. so in this game when there's one more than one uh, enemy coming at you you're usually dead (laughs) and (laughs) if two of them are running at you and they have an archer behind you just just run away unless you have the grenades Um, so I think we should get to our opinions. We're not going to do a full yeah. should you play, which we usually do for our reviews, especially of free games. Also yeah. important to say, this game we don't think is going to be free anytime soon. Most of our reviews yeah. are about free games. That's not the case for this one. Uh, it's coming out in March, yes. I think. We're not sure exa- yeah. the exact day of the full game release, um, but it will be available for sale. So. What are I think should I should you go, Im, should you impression it? Yeah, I think I should go first because I am representing here a Dark Souls fan yeah. because this is a very Dark Souls like game. Only it's top down. It's as hard uh, as your skills at the beginning are not as good, so you're quite slow. But I like how you can use the shield and how you have to figure out everything on your own you might not be a fan of that the game there's no tutorial so you have to find everything on your own and if you didn't play harder games like that it might be really difficult for you but for me i feel like this game has potential and i am looking forward to playing it and i didn't find any bugs even though it's uh, in beta stage Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. i only find out that uh, there's some uh performance issues but they will be surely fixed so i'm representing the side that is not the fan not a fan of dark You're souls unfan. i'm an unfan i wouldn't say i hate like yeah. souls light souls like games but i'm not a fan um i don't know if it's i don't i don't have the skills or the patience or i just find it to be too frustrating but this is definitely a souls like game And I I did find it frustrating at times. Now, there are a few things that I hope get kind of smoothed out a little Mm -hmm. bit before the full release. This is still a beta that some things could change. Um, Like the the performance with the graphics sometimes Mm -hmm. felt like it was kind of having trouble like loading all the details and, and... Um, it wasn't really smooth and for a game like this that's so precise about exact dodging and hitting at exactly the right time like that can kind of throw your rhythm off a little bit Um, also the responsiveness of the controls I was playing on keyboard so I've been told that's not the ideal way to play a Souls Light game. Yeah. So, <laughs> Always uh, use a gamepad on all the extra you, games. You played this you with can. a gamepad, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So also representing the keyboard, <laughs> the keyboard side. Um, but there were things that, okay, I could learn to do better. But if you start one action, like drinking a health potion or starting to roll or starting an attack, um, you're stuck in that. And you can't, like, decide, oh, wait, no, 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 quick, duh. Like, you start a big attack and, oh, quick, duck. So there were times that I felt like I committed to an action and then realized that I was about to be hit or attacked and it was already over. Like, there was nothing I could do. So it wasn't about my response time. It was that the control said, oh, no, no, you need to finish standing well, there drinking this health it's potion. It's about the strategy. Yeah. The ti- good timing. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, this, this just I found kind of frustrating. And then once I got better at it, I actually found the combat to be a little bit repetitive because my main strategy was that the stamina bar is really limiting and I know it gets better, you can upgrade it, but in the beginning, like I know you are Achilles, the great hero, but you can barely swing a sword without getting <laughs> you can, exhausted. You can swing right? a sword like two times and you're exhausted. Swing! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, the The... The weakness of the stamina bar in the beginning, even if it gets better, I found to be really limiting. 
And so my strategy was basically to keep my distance from the enemy, swing once, yeah. duck, and then keep my distance again, yeah. which worked, yeah. except that that became very, very repetitive. Wow, and I know they want you to play other ways and to, to use different moves, but that was the one that worked for me and it started to feel very repetitive. So you can see where I'm going with this. Mikhail is looking forward to the full game. Um, I already feel like this is probably not my type of mm. game. And if you're not a fan of Dark Souls or the Soul-like genre, I'm not sure that this is going to be for, for us. Uh, but that's just a first impression. Things could change with the full release. I do like the time period. I like I like the visuals as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so so it could it could become like more interesting and a bit more accessible depending on how they adjust the learning yeah. curve right in the beginning. So let us know. Are you interested in this game? Do you think we should get the full review copy and make a full review? And if you say yes and we got it, we do it. Yep. It's up to you guys. So let us know. And hopefully see you next time. See you then. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey, excuse me, good sir. I've been what reading is this. It? I've been reading this excellent book and just thought I would ask you, <sighs> is is this Troy? No. This is Sparta. No. <laughs>